right, boys. Last profile of the day. This is four deck profiles nonstop. My phone is dying, and I've been sitting down for like over half an hour trying to get that ad revenue. This is premium content. So this is definitely going to hit that 10 minutes of ad revenue. We Gucci. Laws of Jamaicas is the starter. Um, Things get retired because of early game retiree, boys. Uh, free advantage is nice. This is a, this is Ichi Tom, so you just want to get to Tom as possible faster, so drawing does that pretty well. Uh, Gwade Thwees. Four Imperial and four Hexagonal. The reason why is because these both work on ride, where pretty much every other standard grade three that gives you a gift works in the main phase. So this way you get a gift, uh, like a plus one to your hand from their on ride skill, and you can still stride. So like these are the best what ones to go into when you want to stride. Uh, Imperial Daughter, you can kind of ask one, check shop two, add one to hand, top or soul the other, and... Hexagonal is kind of us one checked up to add one to hand top deck the other. I know it does a draw thing, but the wording doesn't really matter. So yeah, those are the grade threes. Uh, grade twos. It wouldn't be a Ichitan deck without Ichi Shikima. Uh, Silent Tom is on place. Counterblast one plus six k. And when it attacks a Vanguard, your opponent can't guard with normal units. So, yeah. With Ichi Shikima, it becomes an attack that you can only intercept or guard from bind zone if you're running one of those things, which is cool EO. Dapper ass man. We love that suit. And that sexy, sexy ghost. Uh,. Alright, side note, uh, who, if you wanted to fuck Sam from Danny Phantom, and you're a guy, you're a bottom now. And if you're a girl, you're not straight, but that was kind of obvious. Uh, Rectangle Magus, Counterblast 1, Soul Blast 1, on call, check top 2, one to hand the other to top deck. Gets you to Tom, because it, you know, check your deck, is there's a Tom? put it in your hand also when you drive a trigger we get 5k so yeah it's pretty good uh four copies of promised daughter um yeah it doesn't have resist but like decks still retire so it has some protection um which is cool i actually if you know the like the ruling on this because i don't i don't care about looking it up Promised Daughter says it can't be retired due to your opponent's effects, but it can be chosen. What's the interaction with Phantom Blaster Diablo? Because Diablo, with Resist, you couldn't pick the things because Resist says this can't be picked. But this can be picked, so, like, do you 100% have to retire a thing for Diablo? Or can you just pick the targets, like, with Stamp Sea Otter or whatever, and then it's fine? Uh, please let me know. I don't... I'm gonna forget to look it up after this because I don't really care either. So, uh, Tetramagus. On call, Counterblast 1, draw a card, uh, take a crit, put it on top of your deck. So you get to force those triggers, which is just gonna make, uh, Silent Tom deadlier. Because the thing that you can do to play against Silent Tom is early game guarding. But if you just give Tom crits, then like, huh. Have fun guarding that, and have fun taking two damage against your will, because you can't guard it, because, um, God hates you. Thanks, shapes. Uh, if, drop a, if you made it this far in the video, drop a hashtag shapesnatch in the comments. I really should have put that in the Magus video, but, well, too late for that. Uh, no going back. Gemini, uh, you use even more counter blasts because you do all of the counter blasting the main deck has, and some G units do it too. So fucking mitigate that shit you thought. Uh, four copies of Divine Sword Amina Murakumo. It's a stride fodder. We're running no Susanamos because it. I don't want to, but. Uh, I like being able to use my threes just to get gifts, so I can just use this so I can preserve threes for gifts and plusing and just stride with it, which is pretty cool. Uh, one copy of Cure. Uh, 
I don't know what else to run at one of, honestly. Uh, wait. What's the fucking snake thing? Like, Psychic Ophidion or something? Uh, Vanguard Ophidian Snake? Precious Ophidian, that's it. What do you do? Do you need an Oracle Vanguard? Yes, you do. Okay, that's why I'm not running Precious Ophidian. Rip. Well, that's fine. Yeah, just running that. Uh, if you're going to draw a card, maybe it's going to be Tom. Tw Twiggers. Four copies of Ms. Mist. It's a draw trigger, and it's a PG. Um... Like, yeah, it's a draw note. You want to draw so you can get into Tom. Draws let you do that. And this one lets you also PG. We're running four copies of Battle Sister Pulveron. Uh, this is the when you G guard, bind two heals from drop to soul charge or counter charge. Um, this deck does a. So I really haven't play tested this deck, honestly. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be straight up. I I've mostly been playing around online with uh ott Gize. i have done nothing with um with what's it called uh ichi tom since we got bto3 at least so i'm going under the assumption that the deck is counter blast heavy enough to warrant running pulveron especially because g units with counter blast this cost exists so that's why i'm running it if my playtesting proves otherwise and I can run Circle Magus for the 20k, I'm going to do it. Actually, that's another reason why. Like, the shield doesn't really matter because it's gonna, the shield from Circle is just going to go... It's going to go into a G-Guard. So while I don't get 5k from the... I only, get, I only get 5 instead of 10. I get to get resources back from G-Guarding. So, like, I think I'm going to keep Pulver on, but I might take it out. We'll see when we do premium content again. Um, four Psychic Bird and four Nike. Um, yeah. Yeah, these are critical triggers. You use these to win games, especially when you want to use Tetramagus. On to the G zone. I do not remember the last time I said that. Um, December when I did Neo Nectar. But like other than that, I don't remember when the last time I said that was. Uh, four copies of Stillwater Festival Deity, Ichi Kashima. This card is unfair. Even if OTT isn't meta, and it, wa it, it wasn't that meta when set 12, GBT 12 came out, and it's not, that me it's not super meta now, this card is, should not have been printed. It is a horribly designed card. That's why you run it at four, because you can. Counterblast 1, Soul Blast 1, Persona Flip, draw 2. That's not the stupid part. The stupid part is GB3, flip anything. Your opponent cannot G-guard or guard with zeros. So, that's blanket. Oh, that's oracle. But it's that's blanket guard restrict. So basically, your opponent just isn't going to have fun guarding for the turn. If you got Tom, fuck you. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good card. It's what made OTT not miserable during set 12, and then it became miserable when we got Link Joker and Overlord. But, you know, that was a fun week we all got to have together. Uh, two copies of uh, Dragon Destroyer Battle Deity Kama Suzanowo. If you're getting Counter Blast tonight, it's free. And, yeah, uh, OTT G units suck! So, uh, let's, you fill up the slot. Like, it's filling up, uh, this ad revenue time. Next is two copies of Lord of Guidance, Waka Hirume. Uh, Oracle on attack, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. Draw a card, uh, put a card from hand on top of your deck. What does that sound like? Tetra Magus. Um, yeah. Um, this is... Kind of what I do sometimes. I don't know. Like, again, OTG G units, not great. Fills up the slots. Even their OTG G guards suck. So, like, I have the good G guards, but there's no reason to run the others because you're never going to guard with them because the, the, you, if you know OTG G zone, you know the good ones and you're not going to run anything else. So, like, walk is fine. 
I really should get Bobo's. I'll get, I'll, I'll get Bobo when, um, the premium collection drops, because that's going to be a box topper, which is cool. Uh, what, is, how many G units is that? Eight. I have eight left. F fuck me. Um. I only got seven. Oh. Oh, wait, no, I know what happened. Um, I don't have Ultima, because Ultima hasn't been reprinted yet. It's going to be reprinted in, at the time of recording this video, uh, a month and a week. So, like, I'm not going to... How much is Ultima? This will get me some ad revenue. I'm not going to spend... Ultima's probably, like, 50 bucks. Dragon of... Uh, Zenith Peak. Ultima... Ultima right now is going for eighty dollars as the ZR and as the secret rare is going for seventy and the secret rare is going for a hundred and fifty. So yeah, I uh I am not buying Ultima until we get that reprint. So pretend I have Ultima as the ninth G unit that we're talking about. Um this Susanoo fills up the slots. If you have no cards in hand to up deck a stride, drawing four to five cards is cool. So, like, why not? Uh, Amaterasu. Uh, GBA. Sure, why not? Sea Breeze. Uh, yeah, like, the, the ruling changed where you can, if your opponent's still at two, you can stride. But the grade 2 game exists in some form, so this way you can ride a 3 and still stride. So, you got also got the space in this deck, so... G-Guards, the good ones. We got two copies of Son of Eternity, Amaterasu. When you guard with her, if you have 3 or more in hand, you get 10k. No, it's 4 or more in hand, you get 10k. That's why you don't run the, the bird one, because it's 3 or more, get 5k. This is just a strict upgrade, and it has another skill. Which is when you guard with it, soul charge one, check top, top or bottom it. So we love those predicting triggers defensively. So this is a good card. Then last card, Battle Sister Beauvoir, two. So on guard, counterblast one, draw a card, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a grade one or greater, she gets five shield, and then you can put it on top or bottom. So if you do, if you get a grade one. She gets five shield. If you get a trigger, keep it there defensively. You also get to draw a card, so it's basically a free G-Guard. So yeah. Um, just remember, Ultima is going to be there in like a month. Uh, yeah, it's the deck. Like, comment, subscribe.